This story is about me. I won't survive it. Hope you'll be disappointed. So I give blood ones every six weeks because that's as often as you can do it. And I like free cookies. They also give out free t-shirts, and there's nothing more American than that. I have so many t-shirts, I usually just give them to the local orphanage. They really like it when you do that. Anyway, the nurse asked me these very personal questions to make sure I'm an eligible donor. They want clean blood, none of that dirty stuff. But, I mean, I'm still a virgin, so. That was, the questions start off simple enough. Do you feel well today? Have you gotten a tattoo in the last 12 months? Have you ever had yellow jaundice or hepatitis? Were you born in, lived in, or had sex with anyone who lived in for more than three months or received blood products in Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Niger, or Nigeria since 1977? No. I then noticed a change in her demeanor. Her legs were crossed and she bit her lower lip and breathed heavily as she asked, when and where was the last time you had sex? These cookies sure are good. Two minutes later, she penetrated me. Was I attracted to her? Sure. Did she want me? Maybe. It's nice being the potential homewrecker. I once read somewhere that true power lies in potential to ruin lives. Character is resisting the temptation. Of course, I'll do nothing. I already have someone, and I'm meeting her in 20 minutes. Her name is Evelyn, and I liked her first just because of her name. It's very classic, like something you would imagine an old lady having, but in a sexy way. The carnation is a modestly priced yet gorgeous flower. It's almost always appropriate. It also reminds me of the first time I spoke to her. It wasn't that I was staring at her. I was just trying to figure out what she was listening to because she was very into it. I gathered it was Marvin Gaye, one of my favorites. I was actually comfortable, which never happens with women. And she was attentive, which also never happens with women. So it went well. And the best thing about it was I was myself and she was okay with it. Our dates are casual just sitting and talking. She's learning Spanish right now, so she always says these little cute foreign phrases to me. Toca la mano? The best times are spent alone together in the dark listening to a record player. She's a devout Catholic, she likes to knit, and she listens to Christmas music throughout the whole year. I'm comfortable with her. She's gorgeous, and that's surpassed by personality. I think she's everything I've been looking for. All the things I've never been able to express. I'm very lucky. Today marks three months, so I decided to surprise her at work on my way home to visit my dad and invite her over for dinner. I think it'd be nice if she finally met my family. Be wow. Well, that ruins my plans. Who's this guy? Hi, I'm Steve McQueen. Isn't he the coolest? <laughs> he is really cool. Yeah. I get it. He's dangerous, unpredictable, probably has a motorcycle, and always does and gets what he wants. Society rewards this man for delinquency. I volunteer at night shelters, and this is what happens to me. Fuck. She swears up and down that she thought we were just a casual thing, but there's nothing casual about putting her tongue in my mouth unless she's a common street hooker. Which I'm now sure she is. Me de agua de ojo. Hey, man. Nice shoes. Thanks. Well, 
I guess I can't blame her. Look at him. Look at me. Stark contrast. <laughs> you think that's bad? Wait till the atom bomb drops. Fucking slut! Ah! Ah! What time is that chick coming over? She's too busy tonight. I had to work late. On another guy's nuts. Why are you over here then? Because. Because I promised to cook you dinner, Dad. Wow, that's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Huh. We're out of light bulbs. Sometimes he's a little too busy to pick up on things. Dad really is a good listener if you give him the chance. God, Evelyn. I'm not weird or anything, baby. I, I don't know why I'm not appealing, though. Maybe she'll change her mind when he's done with her. I'll always be here for her. God, no, no, stop thinking about her. She meant nothing to me. She meant nothing to me. She meant nothing to me. If I say it and I think it, it's true. Oh, God, I gotta stop feeling sorry for myself. Gal Road! Gal fucking Road! Tired of this shit. What the fuck was that? Oh shit. I'm gonna make you my shit house bitch. Bah! Wow. I don't even work out. Shithead. It wasn't committing a felony that was fun, it was the inconveniencing someone else that made my day. Oh God, I, I can't remember his name. We spent four years together in the same English class and I can't remember who he is. He talked about the weather all the time. Not like small talk, he would predict it. And he would never shut the fuck up when it finally rained. I think he masturbated the weather channel. I'll just avoid the subject. Hey, did you catch the wind chill outside? Breezes. Killer. <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Buddy. Buddy's what you call people you don't know. We're friends, man. You know me. Yeah. I know you. So are, are, are you a meteorologist yet, or...? You remember me, don't you? <laughs> have, have you forgotten the good times, man? <laughs> What's my name? Come on. What's my name? What's my name, dude? What's my name, dude? <laughs> I, uh, 
Oh, I, I, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. You're a fucking asshole. Uh, Tim, not even close. Uh, oh, Jim. Yeah, you can suck my balls. Oh. Well, hey, man. Uh, wrap up. It's chilly out. I'm actually kind of pissed that loser can't remember my name. No, he brought those to me in the hospital and there's nothing else to it. You know, I don't know why I even have to start, keep explaining myself to him. It's not like he's done anything I've asked him to do. I told him, you still smoke and you still hit on other women? I don't know what to do about him. Yeah, um. No. I know, it's not gonna work if you can't even have other people be nice to me. He keeps calling me and calling me, but no, I'll call him if I want to talk to him. Yeah, I gotta go. Bye. Will that be all? Yeah, that, that, should, be, that should be it. I'm sorry, that was really embarrassing. No, it's... I, it's I, just I thought... crap, you know? Oh, why does he have to be like that? Oh, right, because he's insecure and has low self-esteem and has to control everybody. I'm sure he's a nice guy. He's probably just under a lot of stress at work or something. He plunges toilets at Six Flags. Really? No. His dad's rich, he doesn't have to work. That sucks. I never have to work for anything in his life. Yeah, well, it's better than all this. Nah, we just need to find you something you love to do. Oh, we, huh? Sure. Let's see here. I bet you got plenty of other things you'd rather be doing. Yeah. How'd you like to do something spontaneous? Why don't you give me all the money out of that cash register? Are you serious? I think so. Do you have a gun? I might. Would it help you if I did? Yeah, a little. Yes, I do have one. Okay, what kind? It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sawed off. It, you know what, it's not important. Yeah, it can kill things. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. What do I tell them? Call the cops. Tell them I look like Clark Gable. <laughs> no, really? I really should think about putting some security cameras up in here. <laughs> Is that yours? Nice, isn't it? You know, you're parked in a handicapped parking space. Is that all right with you? What? Is that all right with me? Hell no, it's not all right with me. Okay. You have trouble reading, don't you? So you can't tell numbers from letters, Van can you? Van accessible, and that's a handicapped person like you on the sign. You arrogant snot. These spaces are reserved for people with handicaps. People like me, this is my spot. And now I can't go into the store. So what am I supposed to do? Look, you're really bothering me, so I'm gonna leave. Yeah, well, my wife is in there and they're calling the police. And I took a picture of it with my cell phone. Got your license plate and everything. So you watch the mail, because you're gonna get a $200 parking ticket. You two really have nothing better to do. Is this what you guys do on dates? Or? I'd watch my mouth if I were you, Sonny. You know, don't get upset, okay? I wouldn't want you to have a stroke. You are an arrogant little asshole, aren't you? I know how you feel, old man. Can it? Can it, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. You prick. I'm a prick? You son of a bitch. I'm a cock son of a bitch. Sucker. Cocksucker. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all good. Get the fuck okay. That's good. Keep talking, because I can't hear you. Fuck off. Okay. Fuck off. Go Still away. Still can't hear you. Go away. I'm gonna turn on the I'm gonna turn on the vessel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it on. Two of them. Yeah, I'm gonna Okay. You can keep giving me it's not gonna do you any good.
this your day off? No, I quit. I needed a change. So is that yours? What? You mean Ellie Kazan? Why did you name it Ellie Kazan? Because it's red. So, um, thanks for calling. Yeah, no, th th thanks it's for your number. Hangout. How's your boyfriend? Don't worry about my boyfriend. It won't last. I'm not. Okay, well, what do you want to do? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't like this. It's okay. Actually, could I have one? Yeah, you can have this one. Thanks. It was like real romance. Very little words. Just looks. Natural. We were on the same page. Agreeing not to discuss anything. Only acting out. We spoke only at stop signs and pointed out all the houses we liked to invade and the playgrounds we'd hoped to destroy. Absolute freedom. I could have sworn I'd seen something like that in a movie once. How long has it been empty? About a week. Family died in a plane crash. Must have not been a very good vacation. <laughs> Were they good neighbors? I guess. I mean, to mother lawn. Let's see here. After you? Wait, keep the lights off. People shouldn't see this. It's been a good day. Thanks, I needed that. Well, glad I could help. I'd like to have a place like this someday. Yeah, it's nice. Where would you like to end up? Oh, someplace. Maybe in Spain. You know, an old recluse in a villa. Red tile roof. Walk the streets. Drive fast every day. Go skydiving. Be interesting. Live spontaneously, like today. And be someone just perfect. Maybe not for everyone else, but I don't know. Exactly the right thing for me. If you ever figure out what that is. Sorry. It's his mom. Oh. Hello? Wait, what? Oh my god, is he okay? What happened? Where are you? Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll be right there. God, oh my God, I am so stupid. What's wrong? I can't believe I've been so stubborn. That's why he's been trying to call me. Okay, what happened? It's my boyfriend. He's been beaten up and his truck's been stolen. And I shouldn't be here. Look, at least let me take you back. No, really, it's all right. I live right down the street. Don't worry about it. Well, I can't just let you walk He's around in the dark. such a nice guy. Yeah, that's what I am. You going back to him? Of course. But 
else do you want me to do? I guess it was just a game with myself. Nobody else seemed interested in playing. You can entertain yourself all day long and it won't count for anything. I finish last whether or not I'm a nice guy. Hey man, oh, I'm not trying to bother you, man, I'm sorry. But uh, you know, I, I was wondering if you had, you know, some change you could spare for me, man. You know, cause I'm, I, I, just, I really use, you know, a few dollars right now, man. I appreciate it if you had some, you know, for all me. All right. But. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna ask you something. I want you to be completely honest with me. What do you want my money for? <laughs> you know, I could think of a few things, but uh, how about some food? You know, that sounds pretty good right about now, actually, but. Food? Yeah, yeah, it works. Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go in this place and I'll buy you whatever you want. You being serious right now? Yeah, whatever you want. All right, then, well, let's do it, man. I got a little minute to spare, you know? So you've been homeless now for two years. Yeah, man, I ain't been out there as long as some other dudes, but, you know, it's pretty cheap living, so. Do you have any family? I mean, I got a, you know, I got a brother, but, you know, we don't really talk that much. You know, same as my family, so, you know, I made some choices in my life that, you know, I'm still kind of paying for, so. Choices? What kind of choices? I mean, I'm not gonna say bad choices, you know. I'm gonna I'm a say choices. Alcohol, drugs, got kicked out of school, moved in with a friend, got evicted. Can't really go home, man. That pretty much the summary of the whole thing, so. What about work? Do you ever save up money? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to chastise you. I... Nah, man, I guess if I wanted to, man, I'd tighten my bootstraps up and do something. I could, but honestly, I don't really want to, man. You know, I mean, I, I, mean, I live a pretty normal life. You know, I, I, re I read magazines, newspapers, I drink coffee in the mornings. You know, I'm just trying to do it like everybody else, baby, you know? Just, to win it big, you know? So, for real, man. I mean, you know, and that's, that's the American dream, man. You know, man, to do, to, to get as much money as you possibly can doing absolutely nothing, man. That's the American dream, man. I guess I, uh, I guess I skipped that first part, though, you know? But, uh, yeah, even if I had the money, man, I'd still be doing the same thing, you know? But what about what people think? Does it bother you that some people see you one way when you're clearly a lot more than that? Well, they don't really know, now do they? I mean, people gonna make you out to be whatever they want you to be. You know, for example, your worst enemy is somebody else's best friend, all right? A person you love may ignore you, but don't we ignore the people we love just the same? I mean, because we're the only ones who know who we are, you know what I'm saying? Like, and if they could get close, close, man, then they would know, man, they would know. But, yeah, I mean, I guess that's what we should be shooting for. But you probably know all that, man. You know, you a, you a pretty sharp kid, so. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you're pretty smart. Yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, I ain't, I ain't really worried about all that, man. I got, you know, I got a lot of shit to do, so. Yeah. Thank you for the burgers, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. It's like four bars. What else went the wrong way, man? Yeah. When he left, I paid him for his services. All that money from the hardware store. 
He needed more than I did, and I felt as if I was helping out an old friend. I owed him much more than what I gave. Yeah. I was regretting things I'd done during the last two days, but mostly relieved it was all over. I think I was just looking for a quick way out of all my problems, but there are none of those. I was only at ease when I wasn't concerned with myself. I guess I just can't let all the little crises in life decide what's going to happen next. Yo. I thought it was just a wreck. I was on my way home at that point, but he was my friend. I mean, I didn't think I'd be able to sleep if I just drove away. I was feeling brave for some reason, and they didn't notice me walking up on him. So I grabbed one of them from behind and clocked him. I wasn't really thinking about anything else at that point. I wasn't even afraid. And when I looked that guy in the face, I felt cold steel. I'm gonna go get help. I didn't want him to do much of anything at that point. After all, I'd just been stabbed. It wasn't the ideal end of the day, but I was still feeling rather content. And I remembered. I'd always wanted to save someone. And boy, I felt great about that. I don't remember when I stopped breathing, but it didn't feel any different than being a kid and passing out after trying to stay up as late as you could. It was a nice, smooth transition. But then again, I really have nothing to compare it to. And I guess I could imagine the cop or the paramedic at the scene looking down and saying something to the extent of, if only he had that extra pint. Simply 